question though, how much of it honestly has to do with the chemistry that you have with the particular person as far as your ability to feel pleasure and sensuality? As far as like pleasuring somebody, the way we're doing it, I don't think the chemistry is the most important thing. It's, you know, it's the desire to feel, you know, and, and the desire to um, pleasure somebody and, and to be pleasured. And, you know, with chemistry, that's great, but that can also get in the way. And you may start having thoughts about, you know, does he like, you know, does he like me and all this, you know, otherwise, you know, he can just relax. And a lot about orgasm when you're being pleasured is about relaxing. Yeah. And, and kind of letting go and not holding the tension anymore. Yeah. So, you know, and even if you have chemistry after a while, the chemistry doesn't last forever anyhow. So if you become really skilled at giving somebody pleasure and skilled at being pleasured, you don't need chemistry because the pleasure will become manifest because um, you're so good at it. And you can do it with anybody at any time. Not that you want to do it with anybody at any time, but you can or could. You know, I mean, some people say, oh, well, I only want to get, have a sex with, or I only want to be pleasured by somebody I have this chemistry with. Well, meanwhile, you know, there's a lot of people out there maybe who be really, you might be feeling really good with, but you're not, you're not relating with them because there's no chemistry. It's like waiting for the turn on theory to show up. You know, if you, if you start doing it, you know, deliberately, then the, then the default of chemistry may, may turn up more likely than not. But if you, you know, if you're just waiting around for the chemistry or for the turn on theory, um, probably not going to show up. That's a great point, Steve, because I had learned somewhere along my travels that women need to feel love and connection and sexy to want to have sex. And men want to have sex in order to feel love, connection, intimacy, and chemistry. Would you say that that's right? In your experience? Uh, it, it sounds right. <laughs> I haven't heard that before, but. Yeah. And, but to your point, to all us women that maybe are too tired from a hard day's work or the kids pulling at you or whatever's going on, that you're just not in the mood to have sex, even though you are sexually attracted to your partner or, or you know you sure to really want to, but you're just not in the mood. Sometimes it's a matter of just kind of starting and kind of giving your body a chance to catch up with your mind, to even take over your mind, to let you start to feel your body, your sexuality again, whereas your mind has been running the show all day, right? Yeah, and again, like we think it's, it's you know it's great, like you know if the turn on fairy shows up and you jump into each other's arms, but a lot of times people are tired or it's late at night and the kids are screaming, so it's really important to deliberately set up the time and space to have pleasure, and you know so get a sitter or, you know, or, you know, or make Day sure that night. you take care of, or do, you know, do it in the early morning when the kids are sleeping, or, you know, what, you know, but set up a time and a space for it and, and do that. And the more you do that, then the default pleasure comes in. So be able to be more spontaneous, but you, but you have to start somewhere. And once you start, you may not be in the mood or even, because it's deliberate, you know. But once you start it, 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 it feels like, you know, hey, I was, maybe I was in the mood. Because if, you know, it just, somebody starts touching you and wanting to pleasure you, it'll feel good.